<laughs> okay, great. Catch you later, Bill. Ciao. Hey, Amanda, what brings you in? It's about Frank. And? What about Frank? We both started early the other day. I showed up a little too early. The doors were still locked. But Frank was in the parking lot, and he pulled up and said I can wait in his car with him. And since it was minus 22 that day, I waited in his car. I've seen you arrive here in your own car. It was at the garage. Anyway, that's not the point. Did he make you feel uncomfortable? Yes. Frank has a reputation, you know that. I know. I mean, I know he tries to be funny and stuff. And then why get in a car with someone who might make you feel that way? I didn't want to offend him by saying no. And even if I did, I'd just be waiting there while he watched from his car. Listen, in here we're all friends. What goes on outside is between you guys. I have no control over that. I don't know. It's just how I felt at the time. How uncomfortable are we talking here? Did he touch you? Almost, sort of. Almost and sort of are two different things. Look, Amanda, I want to help you, but you're not giving me much to work with here. You know, if he didn't touch you, it's not a crime. He forced himself on me. He tried. I know there's no evidence and that puts me at fault. But can you at least talk to him or something? I guess so. What will that change? That's how he is, and he didn't hurt you. Will you talk to him? Yeah, but, you know, as far as he's concerned, he didn't do anything wrong. Why come to me? This wasn't done on work premises, and there isn't exactly proof. You did get in the car, after all. Besides, we all know how Frank is. He says stupid things, just laugh, and maybe smile back, that's all. I know, but I didn't think I have to humor him. Why should I? Some people need that extra reassurance. Don't think too hard about it. He's been here a long time. We all put up with him. So by that logic, his reassurance matters more than... Listen, Amanda, I mean, I don't want to go in circles here. You didn't have to get in the car, and things didn't have to get weird. You could have stopped in or waited somewhere else. I, I don't know. Sounds like you were being kind to accept his offer, and being the way he is, he took advantage. It happens again, you just stop him. I couldn't. Like, my motor skills just... stopped. I don't quite understand. You were delayed? Well, you can always report him to the cops. Again, there's no proof, but your word and that only goes so far in an investigation. And I doubt that will change anything. The best I could do is put you on two separate shifts and he's been working here a longer time, so. I don't know what I was thinking coming in here today. I couldn't possibly expect you to change my mistake. I'm glad you understand how this is a tough situation for me.
I think it's time for me to quit. Amanda, don't be like that. 